I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm actually like, I'm like shaking. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Charles with TRC and today we're in Denver, Colorado with Ryan and his Calvo Viper. This thing is absolutely insane. Let's check it out. Ryan, how's it going, man? What up, man? How you doing? Doing great. Dude, I am so stoked to be here today. This is your Calvo Viper. Yeah. And it's very infamous. I've seen it on a whole bunch of YouTube channels and uh, it's it looks a little bit different today I noticed some new wheels and new accents, but uh, what can you tell me about the car? It's a uh, it's not a short story. There's a lot. There's a lot <laughs> of history with this car I had a C7 Z06 for a long time and I raced it for like a couple years <laughs> just destroyed my car so uh, I was like okay it's time to sell this thing and, and change platforms so originally um, you know went to the turbo Viper platform with Calvo we did the CM 1600 okay um, we did a lot of little upgrades you know dry sump sequential I took it out here made all these hits in a row uh, race like 30 people <laughs> has not lost a race yet you know i'm sure it's eventually to come faster and faster guys kept coming out mm -hmm. and uh we kept turning the car up turning the car up we over turboed the car for altitude so it had some legs on it eventually we just turned it up way past what it was built for so we had problems at the you know middle of last year this go around um we basically were like to hell with it let's just do everything technically a cm2000 includes you know a, a, a set amount of things but this one's kind of like a custom package per se it's got almost about everything you can do to it it's a nine liter so we went with the bigger motor for altitude again we're here in denver so mm -hmm. the air is completely terrible it's got twin 86 85s so Ooh. so big turbos big turbos behind it yeah no kidding dry sump ppg sequential we went with the uh Schweitzer brushless elixir system so it pushes a ton of volume wave track rear end and moto supplied the you know they they hooked it up on the forge line wheels yeah those are um, sick those are absolutely gorgeous especially on the car I, I saw the old setup and this is by far so much better yeah so the car made 2630 to the tires horsepower and 2000 torque <laughs> Not even that loud right now, but I 
know it's gonna be. So right now it's on map three. You know, again, based on dyno poles and what the torque settings are at, it's probably somewhere around 16, 1600 range right now to the tire. We'll see what you think about it, and then uh, maybe we'll turn it up a notch. Oh, look at that Evo. That's clean as hell. I wonder if they want a piece. That's a freaking Evo 4. That's sick. Alright, you ready? Yeah. That's more than I've ever seen in any street car. So. Yeah. So we have a couple different maps, power ranging from, I think the lowest it'll go is like 12, 1300 horse all the way up to 2600. From what Colin tells me with the engineering, he's the one who tunes the car, is pretty much the smartest guy that I've ever met. From what I understand of it, you know, the gate on the turbos is not low enough to make, you know, the 1200 horse. So there's actually some programming in like the throttle position to where it's only giving it like 50% throttle <laughs> flooring on the lower maps to actually still hit that 1200 horsepower range. So the car made, uh, I believe it's been a while since we dined on it, but I believe it was like 1200 and change on um, mid-grade 89 pump gas. When it made the full 2630 horsepower, we looked at the ethanol content and it was a little less than 70%. Linked up with my buddy Eric and those guys over at uh, Venomous Carbon and they did kind of a one-off, you know, forged forged carbon Oof. package on the whole car. You mentioned the wheels and tires, so what, what, what wheel and tire setup is that? What, what tires are you running? Because I know you got to put all that power down somehow. Yeah, so I linked up with Nth Moto. I saw them putting a lot of like forge line stuff. I really like the look. It's forge line wheels. The rears are bead locks because I actually have the old set of 18s in the in the shop there and the tire did actually twist on the wheel on the CCWs wow. that it had on. But it's 18 inch in the rear, it actually clears the carbon ceramic brakes and then it's a Toyo RR in the rear and a triple eight up front. Okay. You know, one of the other things I, I got to give a shout out, uh, Jesse, Dan, those guys with Prima, um, the car just had like swirls everywhere. Mm -hmm. It was just, it only had 2000 miles. It's 2017 and the whole paint was just trash and those guys have spent weeks on it to get it looking like a mirror so their products and that company is you know, pretty ridiculous oh yeah well. it's just absolutely gorgeous so just sitting here looking at it it has this presence of no other car that i've ever seen yeah it's, it's just fun. it's so insane would you mind popping the hood for me and, yeah. and showing yeah, me yeah, what yeah. you got under the hood yeah let's do it the way the light's hitting this is just the, the curves of the car <laughs> you never really realize until it's popped but these hoods are massive and then you got all of the forged carbon like literally all of it yeah it looks <laughs> insane in person i mean i don't know how the video turns out or the pictures but in person it just looks unreal um those guys over at venomous carbon hit them up they can do one-off parts you know they they want off this whole car it's a one of one forged carbon thing so there's no other viper in the world with all this stuff oh! <laughs> oh! 
was a gunshot in my ear. Yeah, so this map change, you should know, uh, you should notice a considerable difference. So basically the way that they set this thing up is you're in auxiliary mode on the key so you just hold the cancel button here and then it, it'll that's like how you uh put which map it's on okay so you okay. basically key up oh yeah just or like down on the tack yeah yeah so just on the tack then you just hold cancel to lock it in and there it is and you're good to go let's see we'll get a little we'll get a little sound going yeah. Yeah. Nigga, I'm out of oh, oh my it's my nigga, <laughs> That's insane. Oh, wow. This is so it's good. Funny, right? By far my favorite car. Yeah. Period, yeah, period in the story. Yeah, I mean, you got to have the tunes, dude. This is streetcar stuff. This is streetcar stuff. So, so the, the brakes and everything are stock and... Yeah, it's got, uh, luckily it comes with the carbon ceramic brakes and a super wide front tire. It's also got DSC suspension, which is fully adjustable. I had PDA road gear here in town. It's got a full sound system, two amps, 2000 watts, subs. So you're not really going for like the whole weight reduction thing. You just... It's fast enough that you're just like, yeah, I'll throw some subs I in. I mean, and... I figured, you know, <laughs> maybe drop 20 pounds in carbon, add 100 some pounds in stereo, hit up call and tell them to add two PSI. All, even, <laughs> all evens out, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, hell yeah, man. I legitimately am in awe of this car and I hope you guys are too. Thank you so much, man. This thing is a freaking smile machine. I'm telling you guys, like, you will never experience anything like this unless it's with this man. So thank you so much, man. Yeah. It was yeah, a blast. I yeah. hope you had a good time. Yeah, it's always fun, dude, to be honest. You know, there's a lot that goes into it. So much appreciation for, like, the whole team or the people that takes, a, you know, to put, a car, put yeah. a car together like this. From Antonio Calvo Motorsports, who built the whole thing, all the guys there, all the Venomous Carbon guys, Colin who tunes the whole thing like yeah. to perfection. Local support, uh, Cody with Cap Performance. I mean, those guys always support the car here in Colorado. Prima for getting the paint dialed in. Super stoked about it, hoping to have a good summer. Um, hoping there's a lot of people that are turning their stuff up so I get some good races. If you guys want to race this thing, hit my man's up. <laughs> He's not afraid, he just said himself. Mick Rippins on Instagram. Mick Rippins on Instagram. Go out, check out his YouTube as well, right? Yeah, I got a little bit of a YouTube L channel. A little bit, yeah. A little bit, yeah. Well, thanks again, man. I really appreciate it. Yep. Guys, we will see you next time. Go ahead, like, subscribe. Make sure you guys comment what you guys think about this insane build. And we'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.